I was born in the era where kids are living in irony between learning technology and believing in magic. From our bedtime stories, we were taught to be frightened by ugly hag riding a broomstick, wearing all black, cast a spell, and turn prince to a toad. Is that true that all witches look like this? Or is it just what society wants us to believe? Throughout the years, medias, especially movies, are capturing the image of witches. If you pay attention carefully, there are changes in the image and even the fashion of witches. Why it happens? Is there any messages that try to be conveyed? Is that mirrored an impact of changes in society? Before we answer those questions, let me take you to the past. 1922 silent movie Hexen, Witchcraft Through the Ages, tells us history about witchcraft. In this movie, the witches are depicted in image of old, ugly crones dressed in a ragged, weary, dark outfit. The popular Wizard of Oz is featuring the notorious evil witch in old black Victorian dress with pointed hat, broom, crooked nose, and green skin. Dario Argento's Suspiria Even though the witch is only seen at the very end of the movie, her presence still depicted in a similar image of scary, black-clothed, ugly-faced old lady who dressed in black. 1988 Pumpkinhead This movie also featured another similar image of witches like in movie Hexen. Dreadful old crones with ragged outfit is still portrayed as a classic image of witches. Hocus Pocus These three witches are old ladies dressed in an old-fashioned outfit. Based on the story, they are awakened from their long hibernation since 16th century Salem's witch trials. The outfits are more of Halloween costumes with laced up corsets, crushed velvets, and pointed boots. The Craft This movie has brought fresh image of witches in film history. It tells a story of four beautiful young witches that goes to the same high school. They got stronger and more radiant as they practiced the magic. The characters have variation of style and personality, but for sure, they look stylish for the era. They dressed up in 90s hip fashion with a touch of preppy school girl style. Their color sheen is mostly achromatic. They are spotted wearing choker, rosary necklaces, tartan skirt, over-the-knee socks, black lipstick, and PVC coat. Harry Potter series started in 2001. These phenomenal fantasy movies are making great hits in the history of witch movies. They feature kids who attend to magic school and perform cool power. There are so many types of witches in these movies from young to old. Their fashions are varied, but there are a lot of inspirations from medieval, Victorian, Baroque, or even 1950s. The Covenant, 2006 Who say that witches are only female? Male witches are witches too. This movie is focused on a group of extremely good-looking male with magical power. The setting is on 2006 
and they wear mostly masculine outfit like leather jacket, denim jeans, and suits. Beautiful creatures. The witches in this movie are good looking and even dressed extravagantly. At some scenes, they wear a lot of historical inspired costumes that might just come from collection of couture designers. Fancy gowns, dresses, head pieces, tailored jacket, tail coat, rich fabric like damask, and colors that reminds us of a fantasy book we read when we were kids. Now we arrive to the top of our list, American Horror Story Coven. Written by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk, this television series aired in 2013. Set in New Orleans, the story is about young girls in a special institutions with exceptional talents. Filled with beautiful young witches, this series inspired a lot of young people to dress up like them. The classic image of witches who wear hats and black outfits are still embraced but interpreted in a modern way. Lou Averich, as the costume designer, styled them with white brim fedoras, sheer dresses, white shirts with string cravat, bouvant chiffon blouse, leather boots, and etc. On the first episode, there is a scene where the supreme character Fiona tells these witches to wear black and go for a field trip. These witches have many different characters, fashion taste, or even body types. This very iconic scene could inject to the mind of the audiences how this fashion could be adapted by many. No wonder this series could become a trend phenomenon for young people worldwide. Which fashion inspires many runway collections of fashion designers and big clothing lines? Collections from Anne de Meula Mista, YSL, and Wendy Nicole are the examples of designers who use witch fashion as their concept. Not only world-class fashion designers, there are urban fashion labels that match the personality like Gypsy Warrior, Rogan Wolf, and Killstar. These fashion lines providing the needs of young witches wannabe and help this trans contagion spreads rapidly. Fashion labels like H&M and Forever 21 also see this as an opportunity to sell. This fashion's popularity is buzzed with the help of celebrities like Kendall and Kylie Jenner who are spotted wearing outfits and makeup that represent the look. Even the diva Beyoncé rocking this mysterious fashion for her new formation tour with other dozen of dancers. Fashion blogger, celebrity, and even social media influencers have also been contaminated by this trend and spread the virus through the internet. In social medias like Pinterest and Polyvore, we could find many ways to style the look inspired by American Horror Story cover. These phenomenons made this trend easier to adapt all over the world, not to mention Asian countries like Japan, Philippines, and Indonesia. And here is the collection of Magistus Mitra that inspired by the witches of American Horror Story Company. Ghetto bitches, speaking in tongue bitches, 
Fall on the floor, that's age on the floor Beat them ghetto bitches, speaking in tongue bitches Fall on the floor, that's age on the floor Beat them ghetto bitches, speaking in tongue bitches Fall on the floor, that's age on the floor Beat them ghetto bitches, speaking in tongue bitches Fall on the floor, that's age on the floor Beat them ghetto bitches, speaking in tongue bitches Fall on the floor that's age on the floor. We get some ghetto bitches. Speaking in tongue bitches. Fall on the floor. That's age on the floor. We get some ghetto bitches. Speaking in tongue bitches. Fall on the floor. That's age on the floor. Talk shit, we the cast bad. Walk weak, long nails. Corn broke, pig tails. Baby fuck, still in jail. Good witches I fuck with. Bad bitches be run shit. Four bitches, four corners. North, east, west, south shit. Good witches I fuck with, hot door for my broomstick, witchcraft, witchcraft, white match is nothing. I reach in my altar, I reach in my altar, I reach in my altar, that coins on the counter. I'm that Margarita Bruja, straight out from the Yoruba, and my people come from Africa, diaspora, Cuba, and you mix that Arab similarities from all of the movies that already mentioned related to the image of witches. In earlier years of the movie history, most of them are women in ugly old figure with mostly dark or dreadful outfit. This might be inspired by the history of Mother Shipta, an English famous prophetess in 14th century with newborn physics. Even though all of those women in the movies are considered not good looking, people fear them because of their superpower. It could be a mirror image of patriarchal society at that moment. Women are expected to bow under the dominance of men. Women with power and independence are considered as a threat to society. Through movies and stories, they try to scare women. If they intended to be powerful or rebel to the dominance of men, they will be considered scary or ugly like those witches. Referring to the history of Salem's witch trials in the 16th century, the witches or people who is suspected practicing magic will be hanged or burned to death. But nowadays, witches are no longer being hunted and burned. Society is changing through the eras, 
especially where education and technology is becoming daily needs. The information from all over the world triggers people to think and start a movement. The modern thinking of the 21st century produces many inventions and changes the way people see things. Since around 1990s, we can see changes from the image of witches in movies. Witches are portrayed as beautiful, young, or seductive women with supernatural powers. This metamorphosis has a strong connection to what happens in society. Feminism, emancipation, and equal rights movement change the perception of women with power. They are generally no longer seen negative, they even idolized by men.